Hey, what is going on? I am Greg Sossman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel, who's here to break down tonight's NBA slate. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, NFL season is ending. NBA is here. We got 10 games. Let's go. Let's get into it, man. I put up 323 FanDuel points last night in FanDuel NBA, and I still didn't cash, so I need help, specifically your help. So let's start building out that lineup, and let's begin in Minnesota, where Nas Reed is $4,500, and there is no Carl Anthony Towns tonight. Yeah, Carlton Towns, he's going to be out for, you know, two to four weeks or so with this wrist injury. And if we look back to last season, we know that Carlton Towns also missed about a month. And looking at that time frame, we saw that Nas Reed had a, a pretty solid 24.3% usage rate, producing 1.13 FanDuel points per minute. That was last season. And if we look at this season off to, you know, a three-game sample size, we look at these numbers from Nasri, and he's producing about one FanDuel point per minute, 27 minutes and 28 FanDuel points on Sunday in the game against the Lakers. I think we should be seeing much of the same for him. We'd like to see those minutes creep up a little bit, getting towards 30, really getting some nice value out of him. But a 227 point over under going up against the Clippers tonight, everyone's going to say, oh, this is a tougher matchup. The Clippers are not looking super strong on defense to start the year. It's $4,500 for a starter that can produce one FanDuel point per minute. I'll take Nasri tonight. Yeah, Nas Reed in a really good spot without Carl Anthony Towns in the lineup here for the next two to four weeks. You're going to see Reed's price increase tonight. Let's take advantage here while he's at $4,500. Speaking of taking advantage of injuries, Kevin Love's going to be out for a while with a cash strain for the Cavaliers and stepping up. It's going to be Larry Nance. We saw what he could do earlier this season already. He's priced at just $5,500 small forward for Cleveland, and this Cavaliers team is hot, and they're playing well with their young backcourt of Darius Garland and Colin Sexton. Larry Nance, a key cog as well, and priced under 6000 makes him a good play this evening. Yeah, a couple key points. They're off to a good start. The Cavs are looking good, and we saw Nance get the start in their season opener, going for 13-13-8 for a total of 53.6 FanDuel points when Kevin Love didn't start. This is kind of the same situation as Nas Reed with Carlton Towns. If we look back to last year, when Kevin Love didn't play, and uh, we saw Larry Nance out there. He had an 18.2% usage rate, which is very modest, but he was producing 1.01 FanDuel points per minute. If he's going to be out there, he's going to be scoring. And I like this offense for the Cavaliers. Like you said, their young backcourt is looking good. The matchup versus the Knicks, I think, is something that they can certainly take advantage of. We have him projected for 34 minutes tonight and 33.8 FanDuel points, right at that one FanDuel point per minute production. And if Kevin Love's going to be out for four, six weeks, whatever it might be, Nance isn't going to stay at $5,500. So I want to get on board now. Yeah, if Kevin Love's going to be out for a while, Larry Nance is going to be a focal point in this Cavaliers offense, like we saw in that first game with all those FanDuel points, over 50 of them, as you mentioned, Tom. Larry Nance in a good spot tonight. How quickly we forget, Tyler Harrow started off this season much higher priced here. Now he's $4,500 for the Heat this evening, and this just seems like a price is too low. Yeah, exactly. $4,500. And I think that he's probably going to be one of the chalkier options, especially at small forward. You know, Jimmy Butler's listed as doubtful. So this is why we want to be going to Tyler Hero. I think that Dragic is also in the mix. He's a little bit more expensive. You know, maybe Duncan Robinson. But Jimmy Butler has a 25.2% usage rate to start the season. I know it's a small sample size. He's only played 51 minutes over their first two games. But that's kind of where he was last year. And when you're removing that from the offense, we're not only looking at the extra touches, but also the shot volume, which has already been pretty solid for Tyler Hero in their first two games. He has 14 field goal attempts in their two games. We know the potential scoring ceiling that he has, you know, flash that in the Orlando bubble dropping 30, 40 points. So I'm looking back to last season when Hero had a 24.2% usage rate when Jimmy Butler's off the court. So I'm taking Hero. I'm taking the extra shot attempts. And again, Milwaukee, historically a tougher matchup. They just gave up 130 points to the Knicks. I'll take Hero tonight. Even though he may be chalky, even though Larry Nance and Nas Reed may wind up being chalky, they're the right plays, especially in a cash game. They're all really nicely valued, and it allows you to spend up on this huge slate. You want to get some superstars in there. All three recommendations from Tom will allow you to do just that. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry of Tom. We appreciate the time. Good luck tonight and this weekend. Same to you. Have a good one. Awesome. Tomorrow, for our final edition of the Hurry Up of the Year, Megan Nunez will join us to give us our top bets for this upcoming weekend. For Tom Becchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the games tonight, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.